that, you know, how you keep yourself focused where you're ready to go fish at a moment's notice like that? Um, just staying focused on uh, just keeping myself calm, kind of controlling my breaths, just stuff I've worked on with our, uh, our mental guy, Corey. And uh, ultimately, he's prepared me really well for situations like that. And I knew I knew I had, had the stuff to get us through that. Briar, what's going through your mind <laughs> when you step up to the plate in that last at bat? Um, really, just uh, try to see the fastball up, um, see any pitch up. Um, when Monty actually came and talked to me, he, that's exactly what he told me. He uh, said, take, take a couple deep breaths, see the ball up, and then I got, got a fastball up. And I, Got enough barrel of it. When it went out there, you were thinking, okay, did I get it high enough? Did I did I hit far enough to get them in? Were you thinking about that or what? Um, I, I was I was more worried about him uh, how hard I hit it and uh, him getting back to the bag and being able to tag and score. So. It's Caden. Obviously, Monty just said you know it's better to not let you know when you're gonna pitch. I guess how do you kind of respond to that, or do you kind of agree with him as far as just kind of getting out there and not, you know, knowing too far ahead of time? Well, uh, we've talked about it multiple times, but he knows he knows I'm always ready no matter the situation, and I've told him that multiple times, whether he needs me to start a game, close a game, just relief in the middle, it doesn't matter. I told him I'm always ready for any, any opportunity he needs me on the mound. Your approach on your home run? <clears throat> I had a long talk with uh, Seth Beer last night after the game, and he uh, <laughs> picked his brain a little bit, and he kind of – he kind of helped me out on a lot of stuff I've been struggling with and just told me to stick to my plan, seeing the ball up, up, hitting it backside, and just trying to drive the runs in and not trying to do too much. And ultimately ran into one, so it all worked out. It's just overall, what do you guys feel like, you know, going through off-season practices, now finally getting on the field, what do you feel like you kind of saw from the team this weekend? Everything that I expected, I think, the team top to bottom, whether you're playing or not, every single person on our team can grind. Always ready for a bat, no matter what. And everybody can uh, they can flip the switch and they can go on defense and make plays for us. And I think we're uh, just a bunch of grinders, and we're not going to give up until the last pitch is made. I I agree. I saw a lot of toughness out of all the guys, and um, really just a lot of competitive at bats. And uh, same thing on the pitching side. Just a bunch of guys that, especially in our bullpen, just came out and got ahead, got strikes, and even when we got punched in the face, uh, no one got word because we knew offensively that we were going to be able to get us back in that ball game. Okay, how long have you known Seth? Um, I just met him for the first time last night. I mean, we followed each other on social media, but he, uh, he came up to me after the game when I was sitting in the dugout. And, well, I mean, we talked for, like I said, probably an hour, and everything he said was just kind of spot on to things that I had been thinking about. and. Obviously, he's a great ball player and he's someone who knows the game and has been around the game a lot. And uh, I just thought I'd take that advice because, I mean, why would, you know? And um, I, I think it worked really well and I'm going to continue to keep doing it. How much did that mean to you for him to take the time to do that? Uh, it meant the world because, I mean, <clears throat> he didn't have to. I mean, he could have just gone home, but he, he came and found me and told me all that stuff and it, it meant the world. It really did. For either of you guys, it looked like there was a lot of energy. You guys stayed loose through the entire dugout, stayed loose throughout the entire game and really all weekend. What goes into staying loose and in that mindset that you're just not going to get tight? Um, I think just not getting too caught up in the moment and kind of just staying within yourself. That's uh, That's been the biggest thing for us, and I think we've all done a good job just not trying to do it all, all on your own, knowing that if you just get it to the next guy and the next guy, I think they're going to work out. I think they're going to play themselves out. But I think. Just, uh, just being confident in each other, being confident in yourself, I think that's the biggest thing. I'd agree. We're all very confident in each other, one through nine. So like I mentioned earlier, even when we do get punched in the mouth, if they score a couple runs, that we know that as soon as we get the chance, we're going to punch them right back in the mouth. Anything else? All right, thanks, guys.